Hi, this is Tanya from Lovely Greens. And last year, I had the idea to build a wildlife pond in my allotment garden. Now, the idea behind that was that not only would it look pretty, but it would hopefully attract frogs to my garden. And they, in turn, would help me with my slug problem. Unfortunately, in the time since then, the lining of my pond has become damaged and I needed to replace it before spring arrives. So the first step in me replacing the liner was to carefully go through what remained of the insides of my pond, taking out each stone and plant and keeping an eye out for wildlife, and then draining it. Because my pond sits on a slope, I actually have an inner wooden frame that I'm using to give it support and some height on the sides. So I had to dig out the hole and then make sure that all parts of it were level so that the wooden support would sit in squarely. After that, I walked on the soil, which is clay-based, to make sure that it was nice and compressed and so that the wooden frame would sit in squarely. Now, because I suspect that it was rocks that damaged my old pond lining, I made sure to invest in some good quality underlay fleece, which I put down in the hole and on top of the frame before I put the new lining on. The actual pond lining is a heavy duty black plastic that I bought off of Amazon. And I'll be perfectly honest, it was a little bit unwieldy to get it into the hole and up around the side. But once I started filling the pond with water, I was able to tug the edges out, fold where I needed to, and then eventually when it was completely full, I could tuck the black plastic around the edges. It's recommended that you wait 24 hours after filling your pond before you start actually putting down the permanent pieces around the edge and refilling it with plants and animals. This is because the pond needs a little bit of time to settle and also because city water will often have chlorine in it and 24 hours will give it a little bit of a chance to evaporate out. So in my case, my next step was to replace the plants that I had already growing in my pond and also to build a little ramp for frogs to get in and out and then line the pond with large stones that will create cover for animals but also look really nice too. After that, my pond was nearly complete. I surrounded the edges with bark and I had to introduce the resident back. I found this little guy while I was cleaning out the pond. So, kept him aside, <laughs> and there he goes, back into his home. Before long, the pond is going to be looking as beautiful as it was last summer, and hopefully we'll be seeing some frog spawns sometime very soon.